ちょっとらったらったらっとちょっとらったらったらっとちょっとらったらったらっとちょっとらったらったらっとちょっとらったらったらっとジャレスマッチアホー Hi, I'm Oliver and welcome to today's book discussion. So today I am talking about The Thorn in the Blossom, a two-sided love story by Theodora Goss. <laughs> By the way, it's very childish and juvenile, but Gus, if you pronounce Gus in French, it means balls. Had to say it. <laughs> As is the case with the last few, with a couple of the books that I have read recently, I heard about uh, The Thorn in the Blossom for the first time while watching a video by Christina, aka The Princess Gummy Bear, here on YouTube. She's probably going to start thinking I'm a stalker or something, but I'm not, I swear. <laughs> um, she really just talked about books that I had never heard before that really piqued my interest and that I wanted to read. Um, now, you know, she was talking, it's a love story, blah, 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 and then I was like, oh, that's why I had never heard of it before. I'm not into love stories. I truly not. But... There is something that I like a lot or that I'm a sucker for, and that is a conceptual book. So, for example, I have here The, the House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielewski. And when you read it, you find that... Um, so, for example, like he writes his own writing convention and the book really is uh, written in a very special way so for example when you read this page it says I'm going lower and lower and then I'm coming up the stairs and it's written like that and um, you know you have to read this page like this and um, I mean I mean, look at the formatting of this page so I'm a sucker for this type of book and my love of conceptual book can is greater than my fear or dislike of love stories and that is why I decided to read The Thorn and the Blossom because as it is as as it's uh, as it says in the on the back here it's um, an accordion book so you read one side of the love story, so you can read the girl's side here and the boy's side here, and you just read it. Thus the name, A Two-Sided Love Story. Now, I liked it. It was intriguing. It's a short read. It's 40 pages on each side of the story, so that amounts to 80 pages. So it says in the back that you can choose whichever side you want to read first and then pick it up. Uh, based on what the Princess Gummy Bear said, I decided to read the girl sides first and I would say that I agree with her if you have not read it I would read the girl side before I would read the boy side just would but as is the case with all my other videos I'm not here to review this book really I mean if you want to review if you want to see a review I mean there's been a ton of <laughs> reviews here on on YouTube so you can go and check them out I would rather talk about specific points of the book and I want you to tell me what you thought about it. I want to know. We think the same thing. I, I wonder. So, did you read, like, first, do you agree with that you should read the girl's side first and then the boy's side second? Did any of you start it with Brendan's side? What did you think? Um... I don't know. To me, the girl side felt like I, when I was reading the boy side, it felt like I was filling in some blanks. Um, what I liked about the boy side was that, was that it really felt like a boy was talking about a love story because I mean, he was talking about, oh, we went to a pub, we had some beer, we went fishing on a boat. Uh, we went hiking in the forest or whatever, whereas the girl was like, oh, we went, you know, to the bookstore, we went to the museum, blah, blah, blah. So, I don't know, to me, it was like, okay, a boy is talking the story and what's sticking in his mind or standing out in his mind is the fact that they went fishing. 
I don't know, to me that was cute and felt typical of a boy in a relationship, if you will. What bugged me all in all with Evelyn's story was the fact that she, the author, like went to great length to explain or justify or makes us believe that she was cr crazy or had a mental illness. And, you know, I mean, granted, it would look silly, but if I'm reading like a passionate love story, I'd rather have romance and something operatic and not <laughs> just the story where the girl goes to the doctor and gets some pills. Did you feel that as well? So, I don't know if it was the author's way of saying, you know, maybe it's just in their heads and maybe they're not the actual reincarnated version of that uh, sorceress and that knight. Maybe that was it. Uh, but then again, why spend so much time, you know, pointing out the importance of that story and the similarities between the present and the past stories, if not to make us believe that they were indeed the reincarnated version of those two people. So that <laughs> made, let me uh, feeling ambivalent. I was like, well, are they or aren't they? And... You know, it's as if the author spent as much time trying to prove both sides. And I'm like, well, then no sides win. I'm kind of practical in love, or I'm not a, like... That's maybe why also I don't like love stories, right? right? I don't feel like, you know, soulmate, that's bullshit. And, you know, when a, a, lo when, um, a relationship is over, it's over, and... Uh, you know, I don't believe in the whole breaking up, getting back, breaking up, getting back, breaking up, getting back. Here's me looking at you, carrying Mr. Big. So, you know. But yet, I also know that I should adjust my view on love and relationship to the material I'm dealing with. In the case of the material I'm dealing with right now, the Thorn and the Blossom, they make it seem like this big, unbelievable, romantic stories, right? Okay. And we're meant to believe that they're kind of like soulmates, right? And that they cannot live their true love because it hasn't been a thousand years since they've been cursed and they've been cursed from an outsider's, like a third party, if you will, right? Okay, if they are so in love, if they are so meant to be together, why aren't they fighting to be together? Why? So the girl runs away screaming and the guy does nothing. So he, doesn't, he goes to the same school, he doesn't look it up, he doesn't look her up, he doesn't try to reach her, he doesn't do it, no, nothing. And then, the guy leaves, and then the girl's like, well, maybe one day I'll Google him. Well, do you love him or not? Is this supposed to be your soulmate or not? I mean, how do you feel about this? This does not make any sense. And it also felt like, you know, like the curse happened, like I said, because of a, a third party who cursed them. So they couldn't be in love because they were stopped by somebody else. Whereas in the case of the present adoration of the Thorn and the Blossom, it felt like they couldn't be together because of them. Right? Did it feel like that to you? That's, that's how it felt to me and like it didn't click. It didn't click. It didn't sit well with me. It didn't. Um, and finally, I don't understand the ending. I really don't. Please someone explain it to me. Please someone explain it to me. Aren't they at the same place at the same time in that small teeny tiny village? How can, they, how can they not run into each other? How? I, I was talking 
to my boyfriend is like, oh, well, maybe they're in alternate universe. Yeah, yeah. You stop watching Doctor Who, please. Thank you. So, did I miss something? <laughs> if you have an explanation, please let me know in the comments, please. So there you go. These are sort of the questions or the feeling that I have about the Thorn of the Blossom. I would still recommend it because it's a short, somewhat poetic read and you know the characters are relatable and endearing. Like I like them both and so I mean I liked it. It was not as mind-blowing as I had hoped it would be uh, but I found the concept to be interesting and the information to be shared like was somewhat complimentary. So it's not as if the same thing were repeated over and over on both sides. They had two point of view on each side or things to add to the story on both sides. So that was cool. And it was something that I feared about the book, but it did not come true. So what did you think? You can let me know in the comments here. You can come and share your comments on Facebook or on Twitter where you can find me. I'm gonna leave links below. Like the video if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to receive any new video that I put out. And you can also always leave suggestions about what books like I should read next or something. I'm always open to suggestions. So there you go. Until next time. Take care. Bye.